So this story comes from Louisiana, and we find out that despite a subpoena, a former state police leader, it was a no-show at a disciplinary hearing tied to Ronald Green. So Ronald Green was a man, a black man, who lost his life in police custody back in 2019. And there was a police officer with the Louisiana State Police named Carl Cavalier, and another officer who came forward and said that the official story from the department was not true and that uh, Carl Cavalier was terminated and the reason he was terminated was because he went forward with that story and Carl Cavalier is a very very famous police whistleblower that I featured on my channel several times because once again he's a black man and as always a lot of your whistleblowers who are police and law enforcement whistleblowers like myself and Carl Cavalier and so many others tend to be disproportionately black men because black men are always trying to clean up America's crap. So let's get into the story of Carl Cavalier and the fatal passing, the tragic passing of Ronald Green and how this department lied about what happened to this man. And so Colonel Kevin Reeves was a no-show prompting Carl Cavalier's attorneys to request the former LSP superintendent be held in contempt. And also Major Jason Turner, a recently retired trooper tied to the Green investigation, also failed to appear at the hearing on Thursday. And once again, former trooper Carl Cavalier was fired just this year after he spoke out about the incident, which was seemingly covered up at the agency since Green's passing in May of 2019. And on Thursday, a hearing was held where Carl Cavalier was trying to appeal his firing. And here is a picture of Carl Cavalier. You know, brother, I got to salute you. Because what you did was brave. I was in your position. I was in your shoes. I know what you faced. I know what they called you. I know what they did to you. I know your reputation was ruined. And it wasn't just him. It was also Chief Investigator Chris Nakamoto who also came forward. So shout out to that brother. Once again, black men in this country, we have always tried to fix the problems. And Carl Cavalier is just another victim of white supremacy in this country that takes the lives of black men and punishes honest black men who come forward and try to fix this country.